welcome. So now we're going to graph some functions. All right, so we're, we're going to be graphing two absolute value functions. It's a lot like uh, parabola, except it's V-shaped uh, instead of U-shaped. Right? And that's because uh, we've basically got two linear functions here. Um, but the instead of having any negatives on our linear function, uh, we just have positive because the absolute value is always positive. Hint on graphing. How does the 3 in front of the graph change the graph of the function? All right, so the 3 in front of the operation means we have a vertical dilation. by a factor of 3. So we're going to multiply all the y values by 3. There's also a uh, translation. All right, so the graph has been shifted to right and 4 down. All right, so Let's find the values there. So we've got x, and then we've got one transformation on x. We have y, and then we have two transformations on y because we vertically stretched and translated. Um, let's choose every other point, and we'll start with negative 4. So this graph is going to get stretched out. Negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. That's plenty of points to graph this function. All right, the y value, so we're just taking the absolute value. So uh, absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Of course, all absolute value does is just same but positive. All right, let's take care of the dilation. All right, so we're going to multiply 3 by all the y values. So this will be 12, 4, 0, 4, and 12. All right, and then we're going to... Um, translate the graph. So if it moves 2 to the right, we're going to add 2 to the x. And if it moves uh, 4 down, we're going to subtract 4. Uh, we're still not going to be able, so we're not going to be able to get that 12, the two 12s in very well. Uh, but we can leave those off. We'll have at least three points. And this is a pretty easy graph because it's just two linear pieces. Um, so we don't need a whole lot of points to graph it. All right, let's go ahead and add 2 and subtract 4. So we've got negative 2, 0, 2, 4, 6. And then we'll subtract 4 from all of these. So we have 8, 0, negative 4, 0, 8. And we're, we're going to skip the, so the, this is going to be our new x. And this will be the new y. All right, so we'll skip the negative 2, 8, and we'll start with 0, 0. And then we have 2, negative 4, and 4, 0. And see, the graph is pretty easy to work with, so it's not too difficult to graph this. Whoops. Let's see if I can move that over a little bit. All right, I got enough. So we didn't draw all the graph because the next point is going to be all the way at 8. But you can see that the graph is skinnier, right? So where a graph is vertically stretched. And um, this would have been the points. Uh, so the points that we did graph were just these. Oops, that was a little off. Just those points. So the vertex and these two points. So that would have been the origin. This is the just the parent part of the parent graph we graphed. It's just that much. Oh come on! I thought I forgot about. Oh, I did that one, but not this one. All right, there we go. No, oh, what happened? Oh, did I make an extra? <laughs> what the heck? All right, let's try that again. 
Ah, see, so it just automatically goes to copy. You want another one. And lock in, please. All right. So the green graph um, is the part of the parent graph we graphed in the blue graph. I know, so just see how much those points have been stretched out. Uh, let's do domain and range. Good review. So domain is negative infinity to infinity. Has area is going to keep stretching out. It's going to keep spread, you know, uh, stretching to the right and left. Uh, but it has a vertex. The vertex, it's just a slightly off there on my graphing, um, is negative uh, is two negative four. So that's the point two negative four. So that means that the lowest y value is negative four. So the range. Oh, Things just don't go where they should. So the range is negative 4 to infinity. The next graph, we're going to change it a little bit uh, because otherwise it's going to be another vertical stretch. And um, it gets a, we run, start to run out of space. Let's do a vertical compression. So we're just going to do something really simple. We're going to make that a negative 1 half. Right? So we can do a horizontal a vertical uh, compression. All right, so we have the same values as before, although, uh, yeah, we'll just use the exact same values. Actually, we'll, I'm going to use, instead of, I could use 3 and 6, but all right, I'll just use, we'll use the same values. So x, and then uh, we have a horizontal shift, and then y, and then um, we have a, there's a dilation and a reflection, I mean a compression and reflection. So we reflected, and this graph is going to be compressed. All right, so I'll use the exact same values, so negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4. And the y values would be 4, uh, 2, 0, 2, 4. All right, and then the graph is shifting, is going to be um, compressed and reflected. So we could do both at the same time. Multiplying by the negative number will make the graph, of, uh, make all the y values negative. Um, so it'll reflect over the. Um, x-axis and hopefully the graph won't be too much or, uh, right on our table uh, and then also um, the if you multiply by a half the graph is going to be vertically compressed so let's do both at the same time and multiply by negative one half so we have negative two and then negative one zero and then negative one uh, negative 2. All right, so we just multiplied. We just took half of them, took half and made it negative. And then the graph is shifted one left. So when it plus 1 is going to be 1 left, so we're going to subtract 1 from all our x values. So we have negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, uh, 1, and 3. All right, so this is the new x, and this is the new y. So we have the point negative 5, negative 2. It's right there. And then we have the point uh, negative 3, negative 1. And then we have negative 1, 0. And then uh, 1, 1, negative 1. And I think it's going to be right in the middle of my table. Um, 3, negative 2. Oh, it just missed it. <laughs> right next to the table. All right, so here's the graph. I think I didn't use any more points or. I'm going to just cut off my table. So now you can see that the graph, graph is reflected 
it is uh, vertically compressed, so it's wider, and it's shifted one to the left. Let's do the domain and range. So the domain is still going to be all real numbers. And the range, now it's negative infinity because it's reflected uh, to zero. Zero is the highest y value. So the vertex here is negative one, zero. There's nothing added to the whole function. And that gets a bracket. All right, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.